Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and something I'm very excited about because we get to introduce to you somebody here that I've known for a really long time, makes some awesome ball pythons. It's Ernesto with Bioexotics. Ernesto here produced the first mahogany clowns. Correct. Uh, incredible, incredible, the best quality ones. I got some original, original Wookiee stock from you. Correct. Which was not the parents of the Kraken stuff, but then this year we just made, we haven't shown them yet, we can't do it all. We made some awesome stuff from your Wookiee, Wookiee stock. And today he came all the way down to Chicago to bring something absolutely crazy that really blows my expectations of Mine's the too. jeans out of the water. And I can't wait to share them with you guys. It'll be a lot of fun. Let's jump in, we'll tell a little bit of the story and look at these awesome animals. Okay guys, these are it. These are the Paint Clowns. This is a brand new double recessive and just absolutely blew my mind when I saw them. Ernesto shared, me some, shared some pictures with me and they are so amazing. So tell me a little bit about how you made these and why paint is recessive and not, a lot of people think of it as an incomplete dominant, you know, through the years we kind of thought Well, I actually, that. I actually believe that as well, that it was a coat on. Mm -hmm. Then, when I made my first head paint, which basically I did a head paint, a head paint, I made my super paint, and then I bred my super paint male to a clown female. And then when, so when yeah, when, yeah, double, double. So I thought I was gonna be able to tell which one was a paint and what, which one wasn't a paint. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up deciding that you couldn't even tell, yeah, you couldn't even tell from one to the other. And then I had it, I put it on to other recessives and the same thing, you cannot tell. If it's, uh, if it's a head paint, it looks huh? completely normal. But they're different, it's kind of like, like, like your head desert goes uh, head clown. It's a beautiful normal look. It just looks they look better, brighter, but you know they're they're recessive. But you could tell that they're, they're the recessive genes in there just right. because of the way they look. They so some of them have may, may have markers. Markers, some yeah. Some of them don't. Yeah. The reality is, is that you can't. There's so if you if you can, reliable, yeah. So if right. you can, if you have a head paint or just a regular paint and you breed it, you're not going to be able to tell what's what's head, uh, paint or not paint because you cannot tell. I can tell, and I have. Plenty of them, and I made them a lot of double recessives. Not just the clown, I have it in other stuff, so. I found that in my own brain, just a little bit. I've done very little with paint, but what I found is that sometimes they'll come out and you'll be like, oh, I can tell, I can see some markers in that, I can tell it's head paint, and other ones show you nothing at all. Nothing so at all. It's kind of like head pied markers, I think. It's, it, there's something there that you can maybe use as a guide sometimes, but it's not this reliable thing that you can know across the board what you're looking at. It's better to have visuals. Of course, right? Of course, the visuals. And so, and so instead of calling these super paints, they're just paints, right? And then whatever the whatever the <laughs> the, the, the ball python commuter wants right. to label them as ass, but I have the data. Right. And. For sure. There, it has to be recessive because you cannot tell them apart. So let's carry on these. Was double head to double head? Double head to double head. Completely normal looking. Completely normal looking. I think we've made a weight long enough. Let's get some close-ups of these. So check these out. We've got a boy and a girl. But look how different they are from each other. Absolutely amazing. They're just, I mean, I would be happy with, with both of them no matter what. This one's got some really awesome color and pixelation. But this one, you can definitely see that, that paint influence. It's not a... It's not like, well, it's just a little bit different. These are wildly different than a standard clown. They almost look at their yellow belly. Yeah. Of course, that's just the paint, that crazy side granting from the paint. Correct. Incredible, you had amazing odds too. A one in 16 yeah. shot. You Out of four two. eggs. Four eggs? Four See, eggs. That's the thing, you got, you got to take your shot when you have it. You can't just say, well, yeah. it's not good enough odds, I'm gonna wait. Take your shot. Get, have your chance and uh, you trust me, I lost it. a lot. So trust yeah. me, this one I got lucky. That's how it works, right? You, yeah, that's how it works. You miss a few and you win a few. There's a lot, lot, to, lot to show on this project still, guys. A lot, long ways to go. I think we'll see paint really getting its, finally getting its due. It's been around. I remember when my first snake shows, I was offered a set of. They're called Sentinels, but it's compatible with paint. Maybe exactly the same. I heard of that around. too. Well, I think it was like thirty thousand dollars wow. for a pair of Sentinels, one of the original pairs. I think they're straight, straight out of Africa. And I turned it down. I kind of wish I hadn't, but at the same time, like its day hadn't come yet. I think we're gonna finally that's see. That's why I'm here now. Uh, right, <laughs> its day has come. Uh, a recessive that's finally getting the attention it's it's due. It's an amazing, amazing project. All right, guys, that's it. I'm so excited to add the paint clowns to the collection and the paint gene in general. I have very little of it. It's a really, really cool, and there's just so much to learn about what's gonna really set it off. I know you have some awesome ideas of combos to make. I have excellent, oh, awesome animals already. Yes, so in the next few years, I think we'll be seeing some of that awesome stuff trickle out of his place that he's already 
really figured out some really great direction for that project. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check him out online, check out his Instagram, and uh, just follow this awesome journey as we go forward from here.